Hi everybody! This is a reading for the sign of Libra for the month of June 2024. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. This is the blue healing fork you pulled for um, the month of June, third eye. Okay, so we're like opening up our third eye chakra. So let's take a deep breath and begin. That felt very clearing, okay? And that's the word that I was hearing was clearing. Hearing, clearing. Just taking it all in and really I heard clean slate. I heard wiping it clean. So I don't know if you're doing spring cleaning or what's going on. That, yeah, look at that. Changing it up. Endings, beginnings, change, transformation, cycle, metamorphosis, right? This is the time when the butterfly emerges. No longer a caterpillar. Things have changed. And we get the Four of Swords and the World. There could definitely be some kind of ending, right? Coming into the fold, there could definitely be some sort of rest from something. And this could be something that was long committed to, right? Some kind of big change that's happening in the big, big realm, the big, big world. Um, but I'm telling you, it is a full cycle. And with the... the ending you get to start something new and it's like the most glorious completion too you suffered you've struggled you've gone through it i just saw one four four right when we have the four the four out right then the world card right if the world uh if the world reveals itself upright position it's showing that there is great unity and wholeness something big is happening soon a marriage birth new job or something similar your efforts are being noticed and you will soon reap the rewards right so it's like you're in this time of healing right this time of respite after this ending so that you can gear up and get ready for this new new that's coming in i just saw 222 and with the hair fit here you know that's a that's a, also a really big deal it's like a big commitment something legal something something binding or something that his uh you know it says institutions traditions religion society and its rules social approval conformity trust forgiveness wisdom higher level commitment right it's like moving into a new phase congratulations libra this is a big deal can we please have some clarifiers? Universe, spirit, angels, guys, what would you like to tell us? Ancestors. Woo! Page of Vessels. Five of, um, wow, guys. Five of Arrows. And then the World Tree. Again, the world twice, right? And on the bottom, two of arrows in justice. It's almost like there was this blockage, right? There was something that was that was impeding the path, and it could have been something governmental. It could have been something legal or some sort of red tape bureaucracy, right? It could have been, wow, it could have been a partnership. And then again, here's this five of wands and, and, and taking a time out. The, the um, hanged man is under that. We have five of arrows and a otter. It's like there's a forgiveness here. There's an apology. There were things that have been said that can't be unsaid, right? There is damage that has been done. And it has caused a, a point of injustice, a point of blockage where something needed to end, something needed to transform. And if it isn't, hasn't yet, it will be. And that's a great relief. And it gives you the space and time to be able to self-love right to be able to heal to be able to apologize to yourself or someone might be apologizing to you there's an action of um like a gesture or a message of sentiment after a time of of um like great uh pain right great disharmony people fighting there's fighting but there's a healing now and that's completely over because you get the world twice the world card tri twice that's the world tree really relieving relieving you of these burdens removing the blockages in the path and this is a big deal and it's a big change what does this say this says sound hmm. hearing things feeling things number 17 that's related to the star card this is the fancy mancy it's my little deck of me that i uh, haven't fully released yet 
Okay, what just popped out? Say. Right, say what you need to say. There's uh, words on these and it talks about, you know, um, it talks about that communication, things that have been said, things that have been left unsaid. And again, with this five of arrows energy, it's about um, exchanging painful words, right? And then maybe an apology has to be given or something has to be said from the heart, whether that be um, an apology or just an expression from the heart that puts you back into a space of feeling peaceful and knowing that what you need to do is move on and that's going to be the greatest the greatest gift of all, right? That allowing that transformation, allowing that cycle to end because it brings in such beauty. It brings in such fulfillment. It's you get rewarded for allowing that or for going through this. And you're going to hear about this. It says sound and then alchemy on the bottom, right? The mixing and the two things, the transformation, transmutation, right? Then transfiguration, it's completely changing shape. Whatever this is, is completely changing shape. Let's get you an animal spirit. Bat rebirth is assured. And again, I'm drawn to that idea of sound. Right? Rebirth is assured. The death and rebirth card, the world card, right? And then the cat on the bottom. Claim your independence. You can do this, Libra. You got this. Some... Hey, <gasps> Oh, sorry. Back in there before I, I had my, my editor on. <laughs> it's the same. So uh, I had my editor on when I set that down. It, it bumped my computer and it turned the, turned the video on. All right. I'm telling you, sound. These are unexpected messages. Listen, pay attention. It might be something in passing. It might be something that comes up in the background, but you're going to hear it. You're going to know it, right? It's going to lead you in the right direction. You say, you speak your mind. It's in this beautiful cat spirit. These are um, the um, Practical Witches spell deck, and I'm pulling a spell for the month of June for each sign. Into the Ancestor's Guide spirit. But... No more stress spell. I love this for you, Libra. I love this for you. When you're feeling unwell, stressed, and fatigued, or you have a case of the blues, dose yourself with a teaspoon or a dropper of one of the following floral essence remedies. For anxiety, you can use garlic, rosemary, aspirin, periwinkle, lemon balm, chestnut, and um, gentian. Depression, you can use, and keep in mind, like, I'm not a health practitioner, okay? So, like, if you're allergic to something or, you know, I'm reading a card. All right. Uh, disclaimer. Borage, for so depression, borage, sunflower, larch, chamomile, geranium, yerba sante, um, black cohosh, lavender, mustard seed. For exhaustion, you can use aloe, yarrow, olive, or sweet chestnut. For lethargy, you can use aloe, thyme, or peppermint. And for stress, you can use dill, echinacea, thyme, mistletoe, or lemon balm. All right? So just um, take care of yourself. And that's so interesting because uh, my BFF in the whole world, my fairy, my fairy sister, hello love, um, is, is like the oil, the oil magic queen. I just, this is, there's like... A lot of strong energy here today so I just want you guys to tune in and um, allow okay it's gonna be beautiful take a deep breath and then there's this train now right when I'm telling you it's like you're hitting all these bumps because you are you know transforming into the new new the new self and sometimes you have to break through those barriers you have to break through the cocoon right you were in there you got all mush you became something else and now it's time to spread those wings and before you can do that just like any baby bird or reptile or anything you got to get yourself out of that shell first you know break yourself out of that shell and that i think that's what this four of swords energy is it's kind of like being in that stasis point but now you're ready to burst through right so go ahead go ahead the time is now it's going to be fantastic thank you i hope you got something out of that i hope that was helpful thank you so much for being here thanks for hitting the like and subscribe and thanks for coming back and seeing us again next time